we had training to drop leaflets, propaganda leaflets over free Vichy France to promise French people what liberation will be coming for them in near future. During my return from such a mission, our Wellington bomber received defect and we crash landed before we reached the aerodrome. During that impact in the crash, I lost consciousness. When I recover my consciousness, I knew what I must try to get out of my crash plane. Instead of looking for exit, I went to save the pilot, hoping that he is still alive. I don't know if he was still alive or he was half dead, but I couldn't take him from his seat because I think he was still tied up with the belt, yes. I could not see it because, you know, I had to cover my face with my hand because the flame was all over it plane was in golf in the fire. And when I found that exit, broken exit, I was already, my combination was burning. And the people who came, because we've been near the aerodrome, and those people were professional because they always been expecting what sooner or later some crashes do happen. You know what I mean when they live close by. They had courage to come quite close and help to undo my burning, you know, flying suit. Yes. But uh, I was already then, uh, my Helmet was thrown out, you see, during the impact, and I was already the all my hair, my head was badly burned, and my hands up to up to here, you see, were all badly burned. Yes. And when did the ambulance arrive? In about half an hour, an ambulance took me to Aryev Hospital, Cosford, near Wolverhampton. But I was in terrific pains, and thanks to the different morphine, what I was given to ease my pains, I was put to sleep. But the pain continued for many, many days. But after each day, I noticed what I was recovering slightly, and we were given stuff always their great encouragement, what we will in the end become as more as we were before. Probably 
we made improvement, but the small marks always will be left for the rest of the life, yes.